Good morning, everybody. Deb from Iron Horse Overland here, Mike behind the camera. We've had several subscribers ask for a little bit more detail in the setup um, of our Thunderbox. So with further, further ado, we're going to show that. Our Thunderbox lives right here in this cabinet on our trailer. I built this little bathroom bucket, for lack of a better term. The Thunderbox itself comes with a really nice bag, um, but since we full time, it's you know we need it to be regular, you know, readily available and have everything you need for a bathroom right here. So pull it out and go find some nice place. We can either use our um, our easy quick pitch up, quick pitch thing there, um, or when we're out here in the forest and there's a place for privacy, you can get even more back to nature. So let's go find a spot. All right. This is our setup. Most people don't like to talk about this, but it is a um, prerequisite in the field. So a box uh, Deb got at the container store that contains our thunder box, our poo powder, toilet paper, poopery, and all the things you need out here to stay long term. So when picking a place, obviously you want to have some privacy. So you want to stand where you're going to put it and kind of do a 360 and make sure that you're not going to be exposed or, you know, frighten anybody. Um, so some place that you have some nice privacy. And you don't, you know, you don't need a little uh, pooper tent. No, depending, I mean, you, you need to have one with you. Yeah, but, but I mean. Because sometimes your place is that you just can't get privacy, so you need a pooper tent. We very rarely use them. And look. That's your bathroom. Yeah. Poop with a view. I'm going to make that a hashtag. <laughs> um, one thing that you do want to make sure is that you don't have any uh, itchy causing plants nearby. Um, that is not poison oak. It's a, a type of oak tree, like a, almost like a scrub oak. But do make sure that you're not nestled down to poison oak, poison ivy, poison sumac, or anything else that is going to leave you with something you really don't want. And we found an app for that. Yeah, there's an so, app for that. Because anyway, some of this stuff looks like poison ivy. Poison oak, but Poison yeah. oak. Um, all right, so this would come in a bag when you purchase it. You just literally pull it out. Do that, put it where you want it, kind of nestle it down, grab a bag, Thunderbox USA sells these bags, they're biodegradable, which is really nice. Um, and they're, they're not that expensive. No, they're not so biodegradable that they're not that they're going to fall apart on you right away. We've had these for two, three weeks in the trasheroo, um, but they do biodegrade fairly readily. Put it in. There's little notches back there. You put the bag into. I like to pull it up enough that if you do have to pick this up and move it, the bag's not gonna hang down from the bottom. And pinch it when you set it down. You've got these little ridges right here, or little valleys, and then they go right over the metal. You just kinda give it a wiggle, and then there's this little- There's a little twist little lock. Twist lock right there that latches it on there. Again, right. reseat it. You can put some poo powder in there. Now use this sparingly. This is expensive. It's not cheap, but it does gel everything. It gels all the liquids. So just on that off chance that you do have a leak, it's gelled. Plus it has enzymes in there, so it starts the poo breakdown a little sooner. Normally I have these all folded and ready to go, but we just got some new ones, so I haven't folded them yet. This comes with this wonderful lid. It keeps everything, it keeps everything in, the smell in, it keeps flies and bugs out. You just lift it up. This is your throne. Um, we had some cold weather that we were camping in. So 
I used the rest stop little padded thing for the top of the bucket because I didn't want my butt cheeks to freeze to the to the wood. So that is our seat. And that's a We're DIY style. seat cover. Yeah, that is a total DIY. This is just a regular toilet seat, the cheapest one I could get at Home Depot. I took it home and cut the seat part off and ground this down so it would seal on here and again keep the bugs out and painted it black which as you can see did not last and then she made a hinge out of a bicycle bicycle inner tube. inner tube but anyway that is completely unnecessary and the realm of fufu uh, this works perfectly good and is perfectly comfortable well, and I guess as I'm you can foo -foo see then. as you can see it's the same height as a regular toilet so and you're you, not and for you guys out there and and, and women that have back bad backs bad knees bad knees this thing is awesome i i i hated all the other ones i tried this thing it's, i will never get rid of it's sturdy especially if you wiggle it down in a little bit it's super sturdy you can you, again you're at a regular toilet height if you need to there's room to put your hands down here and help yourself stand up um this thing it, worked for me when i was 285 pounds um They've, I've shared it with people that were in the 300s. They've tested it to what uh, weight? Not sure. Some some weight that if you were, you probably wouldn't be readily camping. Um, they stacked, basically they stacked bricks on top of it until, I forget again, it was like yeah, you're somewhere not gonna between 3 and 500. It, it was a lot of weight. So. I don't care if you're, you're a heavier guy or a heavier gal. You're not going to hurt this thing. Nope. Um, yeah. You, you can find them at uh, thunderbox dot, uh, thunderbox uh, USA dot com. Or all of the, uh, I'm not sure if all of them, but um, at least they're going to be at West. I know that for sure. And they were at East last year. When you're done, you just reverse undo the, the lid, reverse, reverse the, the process. process. Grab this up, pull it down, get the air out, tie a knot in it, and go put that in your trasheroo. With the poo powder and all the biodegradability, it's you can you don't have to have a dump station. You can put this right into a regular garbage can, and which we did yesterday. And that's legal and all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's awesome. It's one of my favorite camping tools because it makes the necessary far more comfortable. Anyway, yeah. if you have any more questions, hit us up. Hit us up. Please hit the like, the subscribe. And the notifications button will be coming out with a lot more um, videos. And if you have any requests, you want to see something in particular other than actually using it, let us know. That would be ugly. That'd be bad. All right. All right, people. Bye, everybody. Stay safe. Bye.